My name is John Meyer and I like bringing you some quick tutorials on how to utilize Video Ninja. Video Ninja is a free browser-based tool that uses the latest in forwarding technology offering privacy and ultra low latency. Did I forget to mention it is completely free. No downloads, no data collection, and no sign-ins. Let's show you how to add Video Ninja to OBS Studio just for you as a guest. And then I'm gonna quickly show you how to set up a director panel and add your guests or send out invites. Let's see those in action. On my left, I have Video Ninja. On my right, OBS Studio. Let's add our local camera to OBS Studio. Click on Add your camera. I'll add my black magic and my microphone. Now for this tutorial, I am going to mute it just so I don't get any back feed. Okay, at the top, you have a unique URL. Go ahead, click on copy. Within OBS Studio, you already have a scene set up. Click the plus sign, browser, paste in the URL. Now your width and height might depend upon your current settings, but for 1080, I'm gonna use 1920 by 1080. Something you wanna know is to check off this box to allow the control audio via OBS. If you don't check this off, you can't control the audio within OBS for the browser source, and you won't know what's happening. It will add an audio feed or source for you. And there you go, folks. I just added my camera feed to OBS Studio, and now I can set up my live stream into Twitch, to YouTube, wherever you'd like to go. Now, after I showed you how to add your local camera to OBS, what if we take a look at the director panel or the admin panel? Steve Segwin, the developer and creator behind Video Ninja, created what's called a director panel. Now, this gives you full control within those guests to not only control their audio, their video, the type of camera they're using, the refresh rate, the local download, you can add specific users or guests to scenes. I'm just gonna show you how to set up a group chat utilizing the director panel. And in my next few tutorials, I will show you how to use some of these enhancements. But you can also take a look up here on the top five features of Video Ninja where I went into the director panel in depth. Let's take a look at what this looks like. We'll create a room. And then you always wanna give it a password. This allows it to be very secure and unique, though I'm not gonna use one now just before testing purposes. There's a couple of additions to Video Ninja since I've last submitted or updated this tutorial from the guest can only see the director's video or the director will be performing, appearing in scenes. This means that the director's audio and video will actually be a participant. This does get a little difficult to manage if you are a director of more than maybe two or three people and you're trying to manage them. Now take a note that in the future, as this grows, it's gonna be difficult for you to manage everybody and participate into any live stream or local recording. Steve did put this join room as a participant because sometimes when you come into it, you're like, oh, I wanna create a group. You don't necessarily have to create a group in order to live stream. You just wanna join as a participant to an already created group or a camera. And then you can click on this. We're gonna go into the room's control center, which is all the, also the director panel. Now that we're in the director panel, let's add us as a guest to this live stream and show what the panel looks like and what that looks like within OBS. Easily, I can come over here and click on copy the link. This link will be mine to join the actual group. Now remember, we have to remember the password because it's not in the URL. Our options are join the room with our camera, which we showed you how to do that before, or you can screen share with the entire room. Previously in older versions of Video Ninja, what happened was you had to create two separate links, not only one to share your camera, but to share the room, and it was resource consumed upon your local PC. Now, Steve has made some huge improvements where you can share your camera and the actual screen, maybe a window or something within the same session. I'm just gonna show you how to join it as a guest and what that looks like. Now, I'm selecting no audio because I'm not gonna need the audio right now, but I can add it later if needed. As a guest, 
you're noticing that I don't have that URL that I had before that I selected when I'm just sharing my camera. Well, this is all managed from the director panel. Let's hop over to the director panel and see what that looks like. Within the director panel, I have a number of indicators that I talked about in our latest release with Steve Seguin. Take a look up here. You're gonna see a really quick high level overview on some of the key features and fixes that were released with version 20. Okay, now let's copy this link and head on over to OBS Studio and add it as a browser source. Don't forget to check off that box for control audio via OBS, means you have control then on what the audio looks like or sounds like and the volume that's coming in. There you go, folks. I have now just showed you how to add your camera to OBS Studio, but I also showed you how to add a guest camera to OBS Studio within the director panel. In my next few tutorials, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth in the Video Ninja and bring you some of the latest key features and releases. But for now, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notify because as always, we're trying to bring more awesome content on the way.